Welcome, we've got our uh, Division 4 weekly roundup and we've got the coach of the Smithfield Footy Club, Josh Constadine, here today. Uh, welcome, Josh, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you, mate. Good. Been a bit of a tough year for the Panthers. Yeah, it has, yeah. Um, but you've come up a long ways from 7 to 6 to 5 to 4. Um, just that bit hard when you got there? Yeah, it was just a, from 5 to 4 is a massive jump, I believe. And you're going on again next year? Oh, yes, I am, yeah. Oh, that's great news for the club. Yeah, yeah. So, you, um, things you've got to change, do you think? Is there anything you've got to change? Oh, no, I've, I've been on board with uh, for the last four years. This is my fourth year. Yeah. Uh, I've been Tomo's assistant for the last three seasons with the A grade. Yeah. I've coached the reserves for the last three seasons. So, I've sort of helped build this culture, what, we, what we've built. Um, but this year, we sort of relapsed in a few areas. Uh, I'm well aware of it, the club's well aware of it, and yes, we do plan to change that back around. Hmm. Just training habits and things like that? Oh, just a few undisciplined things. You know? yeah. yeah. As I'm not aware, we lost six points uh, no. two, two weeks ago. Did you? Yes. Uh, yeah. so. Oh well, I'm sure you'll be able to change it around next uh, year. Yes, we plan to. Yes. Um, just last week, going through a few scores here. Uh, a bit of a close one here with uh, Jeps Cross, uh, 9 beat Hectorville, 9 4 58. Um, is that how you saw that? Was it a bit closer than most people thought? I don't know. Just, Nine points? They must have just kicked, Jeps must have just kicked himself out of the game. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think Hectorville were that bad, but yeah. they're a bit, us and Hectorville are a bit. Get away from the rest of the competition, I believe. Yeah. Um, we did a live broadcast of this game. Colonel White Gardens, 18-10, uh, 118, defeated Edwardstown, 8-18, 66. And um, I probably w went there expecting Edwardstown to win, and yeah, yeah, Kenlight Gardens played really good footy. They did, yeah. And, um, yeah, they were quite outstanding, they are really good. Um, Salisbury, 11-9-75, uh, defeated Morphyville Park, 8-11-59, so 16 points to Salisbury, so uh, good win. Um, top of the table clash down here at uh, Large Reserve, we had uh, North Haven, 17-12-114, uh, Eastern Park, 15-7-97, so 17 points. And uh, then with your game, uh, you took on Kilburn at, uh, at Kilburn. It was Kilburn 22-15, uh, Smithfield 8-11. Uh, um, yes, yeah, so that's a fairly, fairly big win to yeah. the Chiefs. Yeah, it was yeah, for them. But, uh, Kilburn, I, I rate them really highly. I, I believe they're the, they're the dark horses of the competition. I, I believe if they produce the football they did on the weekend, they'll be a very hard side to beat if they get through this elimination this weekend. Yeah. They've got Jets Cross. Yes, they have at home, yes. Uh, who would you think, it sounds like you're going to oh, back I, them in? From last week watching Kilburn, I, I believe they could, they could go all the way. If, okay. if they played a brand of football they did against us on the weekend, I truly believe they, they're good enough to go all the way. Yeah, well they're noted uh, September specialists, so oh, they no. might be coming good. Yeah. Um, the other game this week, the big game we've got... Uh, Eastern Park, where Tomo's now assistant coach, yep. and uh, they take on Morfordville Park, um, then that's at Morfordville Park. How do you see that taking? Uh... Um, yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, well, Morfordville Park beating Eastern Park uh, uh, down Twilight two weeks ago, was it? By one point, I believe. Yep. Um, probably no one expected that. It's, yeah, anything's possible at an M2. Just who, who's on the day. Morfordville Park, a very good side. Yeah. Very uh, great club, good people there. They made us feel very welcome down there. Excellent. They're a good bunch, I wish them all the best as well. Okay. Um, North Haven finished top by yeah. three or four games. Do yeah. you consider they the outright Premiership favourites? or? Well, definitely gone by that, you'd have to. Um, you know, they're obviously well, well coached. Uh, um, well structured out there. Uh, you know they haven't got really got good finals history. No. Uh, you know, but I, I don't know. I believe any out of that top, the top four, to, uh, anyone can win it on the day. Take a stab in the dark. Who do you think you'll play off in the grand final? Um, well, I don't know if it's just more hope or more belief, but. Yeah. Uh, 
Moorfield Park and Kilburn. Moorfield Park and Kilburn? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's great to have you inside. You've got inside into the grade where we don't, so that's that's really good to hear. All right then, thank you very much. We're in our weekly roundup.